Danny, a hard-fought point. Got the reaction you deserved and uh, wanted after Saturday? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think it was a um, really hard-working, energetic, industrious performance. We, um, yeah, we were really disappointed with ourselves on, on Saturday. Um, and it's been a tough few days, obviously, compounded with the injuries that we have as well. So many attacking players, you know, when you when you travel away on a Tuesday night and you, you have no Sampson, you have no Awara, you have no Teddy Bishop, you have no Anthony Scully, um, not easy. And, uh, yeah, we had to show our, our minerals tonight and I thought the, the response from the group was, was, was really good. One of those people that came in for one of those injuries, Oscar Thorne, a fantastic debut for him and, and certainly uh, part of a, a very strong team performance. Yeah, Oscar, he's so deserving of that. and. I just said to him in there, no one can ever take that away from him now. He's made his professional debut, played in the league. And in my opinion, it'd be the first of many. Certainly if he works as hard as he did tonight, it will be. Great for him to get the assist for Jack Skull. What a start. Um, yeah, so many people in, in the world play professional football. And, so, oh sorry, so many people in the world play football. But so few play professional football. And that's because it's so hard. And you have to be so good and so dedicated and so committed. And the... Um, He's really earned that, so, so proud of him. Jamie McDonald was well, first league start. Um, and wow, that kid, he covered every blade of grass, Jamie, tonight. I thought he was incredible, the intensity he played with, um, the amount of tackles that he won, how he used the ball. And there were some really big performances throughout the team. Matt Macy, centre half, Ben Goodliffe and, and Aaron Donnelly, I thought were terrific. Bob Hunt, right back, just, oh wow, what, what, it was just an just the art of defending in the 1v1 moment and played a really good Chesterfield team tonight. For me, they're the best team that we've played this season. So um, to come here off the back of off the back of the, the, the weekend's disappointment and, and put a, a really, really diligent performance together, I think we can be proud of that. And in front of their home crowd, uh, you know, they, they looked a very good side. They've proved that so far this season, but yeah. it was only after they scored that they really got ahead of steam up. And, and we conceded a bit more chances there and they looked like they might go on. Yeah, uh, what else was so frustrating, in, in the first half, although they had some possession, we actually thought we had the best chances in the game. Um, and second half, they hadn't had any chances up to their goal. And then the goal gets given, then the linesman flags and says that Will Griggs offside. And then the referee decides that Will Grigg hasn't even touched the ball, but then the goal's given to Will Grigg. Um, so, yeah, you'll have, to, you'll have to clear that out for me, but it's not easy for the officials. I respect that. Let's be honest, in the Premier League, they have VAR and they still can't get it right with, 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 when, 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 when they get the, the, the replays and get that, that, that kind of support. So, it's not easy for referees at this level, but, um, yeah, probably when you come here and play such a good team that have so much momentum off the back of their promotion, um, you probably need those decisions to go for you.